pleasure to welcome you all to our Academic Achievers function of 2019. Whilst we normally do this in April of every year, we decided that during COVID-19 and whilst we're dealing with the crisis, we will not postpone the Academic Achievers function, but rather we will take this time out to reflect, to celebrate, to reward and recognize excellence in learning and teaching and excellence in community engagement at UWC. For our learning awards this evening, we will award the best first year students in every faculty, the best initial degree students, as well as the best honor student in every faculty. For our Teaching Excellence Awards, we will award to the emerging excellent lecturers in every faculty, as well as the excellent lecturers in every faculty. And since we started this in 2017, we will focus once again on the integrated scholarship of engagement and therefore we will have the Community Engagement Excellence Awards for both individuals and for teams. While some might think it is inappropriate to have awards at such a time, we actually feel this is the time to celebrate and to give recognition to those that went the extra mile and that were excellent students and staff. I would like to welcome you all, if there are any council members, executives, any of the university community and our alumni watching tonight, welcome. I would also like to extend a special welcome to the deans of the seven faculties who have toiled so hard to make this happen. The Dean of the Faculty of Arts, Professor Hala Hala. The Dean of the Faculty of Community and Health Sciences, Professor Rhoda. The Dean of the Faculty of Dentistry, the Acting Dean, Professor Mayberg. The Dean of the Faculty of Education, Professor Num Lomo. The Dean of the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, Professor Iso. The Dean of the Faculty of Law, Professor Deval. And the Dean of the Faculty of Natural Sciences, Professor Davies Coleman. Enjoy this evening with us. I will now hand over to two of our excellent students that were part of the Accelerated Excellence Program. We will now announce the Excellence in Learning Awards in the categories Best First Year, Best Final Year and Best Honor Student across the faculties for the year 2019 and the best first year students for the year 2019 across each faculty selected on a weighted average is Tawira Ajam in the Faculty of Arts with a weighted average of 81.81%. Bonaya Florence Namani in the Faculty of CHS doing a Bachelor of Nursing with an average of 86.3%. Dumelo Mokhaila in the Faculty of Dentistry doing a Bachelor of Oral Health with a weighted average of 84.67%. Nigel Green from the Faculty of Education, doing a Bachelor of Education in Mathematics and Natural Science with a weighted average of 83.73%. Cleo Khan in the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, doing a Bachelor of Commerce in Law with an average of 82.15%. Christian Diacha in the Faculty of Law doing a Bachelor of Laws with a weighted average of 84.42%. And finally, we have Magdalena van Lil in the Faculty of Science doing a Bachelor of Pharmacy with a weighted average of 85.36%. Congratulations to all these first years for being the best across their respective faculties. Well done to you. The best final year students for 2019 per faculty are Joshua Gaylord, 
from the Faculty of Arts, doing a Bachelor of Arts with the weighted average of 85.75%. Gemma Uton, from the Faculty of CHS, doing a Bachelor of Science in Physiotherapy with the weighted average of 83.4%. Taylor Malharba, from the Faculty of Dentistry, doing a Bachelor of Dentistry Science with the weighted average of 80.74%. Cindy Lee Amsterdam, from the Faculty of Education, doing a Bachelor of Education in Mathematics and Natural Science with the weighted average of 85.50%. Fabian Peterser, from the Faculty of EMS, doing a Bachelor of Commerce with the weighted average of 84%. Tyrone Rueda, from the Faculty of Law, doing a Bachelor of Laws, with the weighted average of 81.58%. Nazo Citrelle, from the Faculty of Science, doing a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry, with the weighted average of 86.75%. And the best honor students for the year 2019 selected across faculties on a weighted average are Siobhan van Roy in the Faculty of Arts doing a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Linguistics with a weighted average of 84.50%. Tracy Lee Oliver in the Faculty of CHS doing a Bachelor of Arts Honors in Psychology with a weighted average of 77.54%. Uitumelo Papane in the Faculty of EMS doing a Bachelor of Arts in Political Studies with a weighted average of 76.75%. And finally, we have Jamie January in the Faculty of Science doing a Bachelor of Science Honours in Chemistry with a weighted average of 88.13%. And now for the awardees of the Faculty Excellent Lecturer Award. In the Faculty of Dentistry, Dr. Fazana Kajeka. In the Faculty of Education, Dr. Colette February. In the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, Mrs. Rochelle Bierkes. In the Faculty of Science, Professor Okobi Ekpo. Now for the awardees in the category Faculty Emerging Excellent Lecturer. In the Faculty of Arts, Dr. Erin Pretorius and Dr. Jonathan Jodamus. In the Faculty of Community and Health Sciences, Ms. Daniel Hess. In the Faculty of Dentistry, Dr. Carmen Gordon. In the Faculty of Education, Dr. Nosisi Dlamini. In the Faculty of Economic and Management Sciences, Mr. Charles Adams. In the Faculty of Law, Ms. Lisa Drager. In the Faculty of Science, Dr. Christina Rietha Kotza. And now we've come to the stage that we announce the best first year student for 2019. The 
This first year student is Ifunania Florence Namani from the Faculty of Community and Health Sciences with the weighted average of 86,3%. Receiving the Institutional Award for being the best final year at UWC is Nazo Sichuele in the Faculty of Science with a weighted average of 86,75% doing a Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. The best honor student for 2019 is Jamie January from the Faculty of Science doing a honors in chemistry with the weighted average of 88.13%. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am very pleased to be able to present um, the DVC uh, Excellence Award for Community Engagement tonight. Um, there will be uh, two categories. The one is for the individual and the other one is for the team. So I will start with the individual awards. There are two awards for the individual category. The first award goes to Dr. Munir Abdurraf. Dr. Abdurraf is an academic that is, uh, his contribution is consistent, relevant and applicable and emphasizes the niche area of family law and his research embraces law and traditions relevant to the impact of Islamic law and the protection of women in South Africa. He is recognized globally and locally by his peers um, of the network of international scholars researching unofficial marriages and is held in very high esteem by his students and colleagues. He is committed to collaboration and partnership and prioritizes information sharing by linking theory with practice and ensuring current and future alignment uh, with community engagement. Dr. Abdurraf is an avid advocate for policy changes and he is an expert in the field of acad academia and community engagement and his academic contribution is relevant and applicable to the community. I'd like you to uh, give Dr. Abdurrahman a hand of applause and we are very um, happy to be able to award him uh, the Community Engagement Individual Award. The next uh, awardee for the Individual Award is Professor Renir Kutsia. Professor Kutsia is recognized locally and globally for his academic contribution to community engagement, learning and teaching, research in collaboration with students, colleagues uh, and uh, the community as well as other relevant stakeholders. He has co-designed training manuals for home-based care, um, developed programs to strengthen partnerships with health care providers, um, and is involved in public engagement through sharing knowledge and skills with the public on community platforms such as radio, television, and newspapers. He is a key partner in PACE and developing students' skills through service learning and experiential learning. Dr. Kutsia has an extensive experience with regard to the evidence, uh, with, sorry, with evidence of teaching and learning, professionalization, technology and teaching assessment, linking theory and practice, curriculum development, service learning and patient care. Um, and he does all of this amazing work in partnership with the relevant uh, stakeholders in the community and through applying uh, teamwork. So I'd like to congratulate Professor Kutsia and I also would like to thank him for his contribution um, to service learning and community engagement. Then our final award is for the Community Engagement Group Award 
and that is being awarded to the law clinic and the people involved here is Mr. Shamil Jassim who is the HOD and director and his partners who are involved in these programs and obviously a very important uh, grouping uh, is the students who are involved. The law clinic is a core service learning faculty which serves as a bridge between the university and the community and is very visible in the communities such as Langa, Mitchell's Plain and they are involved in interventions for juvenile detention as well as uh, law representatives on organizations and structures both locally and nationally. The academic merit and commitment to community engagement is rooted in what they identify as relevance through in the importance of integrating the discipline specific knowledge with uh, community engagement. The projects that uh, we'd like to highlight is the street law project where students are engaged on a voluntary basis, internships with UWC and uh, Missouri students, um, it, which they also do in an exchange program, and the legal process course that is aligned with student placements in the community. So they ensure that they share uh, the skills and knowledge with the community. The team provides provided supporting documents, important reflective um, reports from students and community members, and the evidence definitely indicates that they use subject matter expertise in alignment with community engagement research and as well as publications to be able to support um, the kind of work that they are doing. So in conclusion, I would like to congratulate all the recipients of the Excellence in Community Engagement Awards. And I'd like to say that we salute you as our UWC Community Engagement Champions. Thank you. Greetings everyone. As we get to the closing of the ceremony, I would like to congratulate all awardees and all nominees. Well done. And on your behalf, I'd like to thank your friends, your families, and your significant others who have journeyed this way with you. You wouldn't have been able to do it on your own. I'm sure you'll agree. We are facing unprecedented times, a time that we've never been through before and we may never experience again. We all hear, this too will pass, and it will. There's another saying that goes, it passes, and until then, it teaches. This lockdown period has taught us many lessons, and two that are top of mind are the lesson of gratitude and the lesson of reflection. We need to come out of this intact, intact in mind and in body, and in spirit. It brings to mind the words of our former president, the father of the South African nation who said, it seems impossible until it's done. Who would have thought that we could spend two months without visiting friends or family? Two months being confined to our homes and with only our families. Two months with only going to shops, going nowhere else. It gives credence to the saying, the human spirit is much more resilient than the sum total of all the challenges we experience. A mouthful, I know. I thought it too when I heard it. But the human spirit is more resilient than the sum total of all the challenges we experience. And in order to boost our resilience, in order to enhance our resilience, our mental health is important. And I believe that one of the contributors to our mental health are times of celebration, times of enjoyment, times of having fun. So this is one of those times. This is a time where we celebrate with you and we celebrate for you. And we need to find times where we find these celebrations because we know that when we celebrate, UWC celebrates. And when you achieve, UWC achieves. And 
I would like firstly to thank Prof. Levac for introducing this academic award ceremony to UWC. The ceremony that celebrates excellence in teaching, learning and community engagement. Secondly, I'd like to thank Prof. Levac for initiating this virtual ceremony, giving us a time to celebrate. Thank you to Prof. Daniels for reading out the citations and then thank you to IA for their support and cooperation and assistance in making the ceremony happen. Thanks to, to our students, Sazi and Lonal. Thank you for doing us proud. At this point, I would normally say the dance floor is open, but we are, you can still have the dance floor open. In your time, in your space, remember, we can do it apart, but it is together. In the words of our president, who always ends his speech when he addresses the nation, saying, God bless Africa, God her children, and bless all her sons and daughters. So from UWC to everyone viewing this video, take care, go well, be safe, and God bless.